Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of a new Trekkie. My five-year mission to search out Star Trek media, to seek out our fans and merchandise, to boldly go where no fan has gone before. Greetings and salutations. Today we will be looking at the tragic story of the death of Jeffrey Hunter, the actor who played the original Captain Pike in Star Trek. Jeffrey Hunter uh, was born as Henry Herman McKinney Jr. on November 25, 1926 in New Orleans, Louisiana. The actor had done quite a lot of roles in his, in his career. But his most notable ones, such as The Searchers. I didn't remember back. Do you remember how I used to let you ride my horse? And tell you stories? Oh, don't you remember me, Debbie? I remember. And King of Kings. Tonight, one among you will betray me. What you must do, do quickly. However, he, however, on television, he's most known as Captain Christopher Pike in the original pilot of Star Trek. Are you real? As real as you wish? Oh, no. No, that's not any answer. I've never met you before, never even imagined you. Perhaps they made me out of dreams you've forgotten. Which sadly did not air, but was later used in footage for the episode, The Menagerie. However, on Sp in Spain of 1968, to film Cry Chicago, a story about the Chicago Mafia, Hunter was injured in an onset explosion when a car window near him, which had been rigged to explode outward, actually exploded inward. He sustained a serious concussion. According to his wife, Emily, he went into shock on the flight back to the United States after filming and couldn't speak and could hardly move. After landing, Hunter was taken to Good Samaritan Hospital in Los Angeles, but doctors could not find any serious injuries except for displaced vertebrae and a concussion. On May 26, 1969, Hunter suffered an intracranial hemorrhage while walking down a free stair set of steps at his home in Van Luz, California. He fell, knocked over a planter, and struck his head on a banister, fracturing his skull. He was found unconscious by Frank Bellow, Bellow, an actor and a friend of Hunter's who came for a visit, and taken to Valley Presbyterian Hospital, where he underwent brain surgery. He died at about 9.30 the following morning at the age of 42. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully, I hope you found it informative. Um, thank you for watching and I shall be sure to see you next time.